What's going on guys? Today I'm working on my wife's car. It's a 2005 Chevy Malibu. Um, it's a six cylinder. So the issue that I'm having with this car is the gauges right here. They don't let up all the way at night time. And that's dangerous, you know, considering that you need to be able to see how fast you're going. Um, I mean, the most danger is you're not knowing how fast you're going, you're speeding, and then next thing you know, you get a ticket. That's going to cost you quite a bit of money. Now, when I went to try and see what size bolts these guys are, I called the dealership. I went to AutoZone. They all told me the same thing, that they don't have anything on record. What the dealership told me is that if the light bulbs are sealed onto the cluster itself, then I can't change it myself. I'm going to have to uh, send it to them so they can send it to a authorized uh, company to have it serviced and that can start at $390 so I'm really hoping that these light bulbs are not sealed which is what I'm doing right now so what I've done so far is down here there was two screws one right here one arrow over here once I took those off I was able to take this whole assembly off this was back here just sorry guys so this is a cover to the back of the wheel itself and then this covers the cluster so I took that off now that that's off I have two more screws one right here that I already started to unscrew you can see it right there and there's another one right over there all right so I'm gonna finish unscrewing those two and then I'm gonna show you guys how I wiggle it out so I took those bolts off those two at the bottom and this pretty much comes right out but be careful there's a obviously there's a harness that connects to the cluster and I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about so the harness is back here it looks like I just need to press down on these two and then pull it right off it's kind of hard to do it with one hand so I will go ahead and do that and then all right guys, I was able to take it off. It was very simple. Um, kind of hard to do it with only one hand, but all you gotta do is with one hand, you're pressing down on this upper tab right here. And then with the other hand, you're gonna need a screwdriver for this. So let me show you over here with the cluster. Imagine imagine this uh, plastic piece right here that's pop, popping out at the bottom. That's gonna be down here. All right, so it's gonna be right here. So they're literally gonna meet right here. So as you're pressing on that tab up here with the other hand, the screwdriver, you're just gonna use this to pry it right off, like so. And then from there, you just literally wiggle it out and it comes right off. Uh, nothing, nothing fancy, nothing really hard. So it looks like these are gonna be my lights but I'm not too sure. So I will go ahead and take those off or take one off and then I'll let you guys know um, how that goes. All right guys, so after extensive taking apart of the cluster, I found out that the only lights they have availability to, which is these guys right here, these light up your, um, like your airbag light, your low tire pressure light, your high beam lights, your turning signal lights, like th those are the only things that those lights back here light up. Um, the only thing that seems to light up the actual like speedometer, your RPMs, your uh, engine heat, uh, and your fuel seems to be pieces that go in here, like you see one, two, three, these are attaching a little box to this uh, green piece right here. I keep forgetting the name of it, but which is also attached to the knob itself. So it, it gets it to turn and I'm guessing it also lights it up. But I don't have the tools to take that off. So I did some more research for you guys. If your problem is these, like your speedometer actually lighting up and your RPMs and stuff like that and these guys over here, if those are your problems, you have two options. A, you can send this 
to the dealer, have them send it to the authorized um, company to have it serviced and pay 390 bucks minimum or you can order a brand new cluster instrument cluster and install it yourself I already tell you how to take it apart it's no harder to put it back together and a new instrument cluster will only cost you eighty dollars so you're saving three hundred plus dollars by ordering it and installing it yourself then having it sent to the company and have it serviced and so on and so forth so there you have it guys and even better if your problem is your directionals your uh, tire pressure light like if those are your problems those are the lights that are not lighting on then all you have to do is replace these guys now I do recommend whenever you go to replace these don't just replace one at a time like one and not the rest if you're gonna replace one replace all of them as you can see we have one two three four five six seven all right but there you have it guys so I'll go ahead and put it back together and then I'll show you guys how that's done all right guys so we just connected the wiring harness to our cluster so we just go ahead and wiggle it <sighs> sorry guys we're gonna wiggle it back in place just like that all right snaps right in again you got one two bolts right here and then from there you're going to install this back in here and then you, you will screw on one two bolts and you're done make sure you snap everything back in place you got one two clips for this guy so as you can see have one and this one broke off yeah, you can see it right there it's stuck in there but that's fine the other one clips in place well there you have it guys uh, that's how you put it back together again if your problem is your lighting on your speedometer or your RPMs then it's probably cheaper to just buy a whole new cluster and install that and to send it to a dealer and have it serviced. I hope this video uh, was helpful guys. Please give it a thumbs up if it was. And leave your comments if you have any further questions. Alright guys, a few last tips. A few last bit of information. Uh, as always, whenever you're working with electricals, uh, be sure to remove the negative terminal off your battery. Also, though every single one of those bolts was 7mm. Did not mention that in the video. And as far as your cluster goes, if you do end up need, needing one, it is kind of hard to find it. Your best bet is just go to like a dealership website and type in the part number. You can get the part number off of the cluster itself. You just have to take it apart and look at the sticker. Um, other than that, guys, that's pretty much it. Just a few things that I forgot to mention on the previous clips. But, once again, if this video was helpful, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any further questions, just comment below and I will answer them in a hasty manner. Alright guys, you have a good one.